Keith coming from Lampost Farm, and we've been wanting to do a training video on how to park chicken. We just processed these chickens this morning, and I'm going to walk through the steps of turning a whole chicken into parts and pieces that you can use at home. We sell packaged chickens uh, here where you can get five chickens anywhere from four to six pounds. Sometimes today they were actually bigger than that. Um, five chickens for $105. And so it works out to be $21 a bird. Um, and yeah, retail, these chickens right here, which are five and a half pounds are $22 in the store. So buying a package is good, but it's even better if you can take them and cut them apart and make them something that you can use either down the road where if you buy them fresh and park them yourself, you can put them in the freezer in pieces that you can use down the road or uh, even just to break one down and grill it, which is what I'm gonna do this weekend. Um, first thing we want to emphasize is that you always use the weight of the bird. I tell people that all the time. You want the bird's weight in your favor. And the reason is when you cut, you don't ever want to be cutting into something hard uh, like bone. And so um, when, you're, when you're cutting at a joint, the weight helps to open the joint up for you so that you can, um, so that you can take that piece right off. So when you're starting, we start with the wings and you can hold the wings. Usually I'm right-handed, so I'll have the knife in my right hand and I'll grab the wing by the two-piece wing. I don't know if everybody knows this, but a wing has two parts and this section of the wing has two bones and this section is like a mini drumstick with one bone. Grab the wing by the two-piece bone and I put my thumb either behind that single bone or just hold it like that and then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to go at a 45 degree angle from the carcass to the wing. It's about 90 there. I'm going to cut it at a 45 degree angle. Now when I cut in here, the weight starts to open that joint right up. And I just take and cut. I'm not even needing to look. I can feel it that it's separated. And that's what you have. So we're not cutting into the breast. We're actually just cutting the wing off. Now I flip it around. And I'm holding this one, again, uh, at a 90 degree angle from the carcass. The weight of the bird is in my favor. And I start slicing and the joint opens up. And I just cut right through the joint. So when you take your, it takes a little bit of time. We say everything around here you have to have a relationship with. This is a new relationship that you're building. And so it's a little bit clumsy. Don't be, don't be afraid to wade into it. You have to start somewhere. Um, and so if you hit bone, you can back out and see the joint and keep cutting. Um, okay, two wings are gonna go in into a, a, our can. Now, I have the bird here and I'm gonna take its legs and spread it wide open until the skin gets nice and tight. And once that does, it'll separate from the carcass most likely. Over here, it didn't all together. But you can see light through that piece of skin and I'm just going to cut the skin. I'm not cutting any meat at all. Cut the skin all the way down. More light there. Down to where the light stops. On both sides I'm going to slice that apart. Down to the where the leg joins into the carcass. Now I'm going to take the bird and I'm going to put it with its head, neck up. Right? Legs down. And there's on the back Put my thumbs here in the hips and on the back you can feel the hip socket and I'm just going to pull that open so that the hip ball socket comes open. Now again, weight of the bird in my favor, I can now cut that leg off of the back of the chicken and so I'm going to start in that joint again, or the corner where I cut down to and I'm going to include this little circle of meat on the back that's like the tenderloin. Uh, or the filet, called the oyster meat on a, on a chicken. And I wanna include that in, the, in my thigh. So I lay the knife flat on the back of the chicken and I'm just gonna work underneath that and then across that hip joint all the way to the tail. You know you've done it well if the thigh looks like a heart when it's done, right? So that goes in the can. Now I get a second one. I'm gonna finish cutting that skin now this time I'm holding it facing away because I'm right-handed, I can now see that oyster meat. I'm gonna, again, lay the knife on the back of the chicken. I'm gonna slice under that oyster meat, come up to the hip socket, and then back to the tail. 
in this case, I'm actually hitting something. And if you do, back out a little bit and, and readdress it. What was happening there is instead of dislocating that hip joint, it actually broke the hip on the back. Um, but we have our heart-shaped leg quarter. Okay. I'm gonna show you real quick how we take this and split these leg quarters. And I'll actually show you how we split the wing too. I lay these with the skin facing up and you can find the pivot point. If you look real close, right there's the joint. You wanna find the pivot point and slice in there as you're pushing. And if you hit the joint correct, you won't have much resistance. There'll still be resistance, but you slice that joint right in half. That's pretty sweet whenever you're doing fried chicken or wanna do uh, thighs and drumsticks separately. Um, however you do that. Same thing is true on the wings. Skin side up. Now there's skin on both inside, inside and outside of the wing. And so we wanna do outside up all the time. Um, and you find the pivot point of the wing, right there it is, I can see it. I'm gonna push the knife right to that joint and just slice down through it. Again, you cut the joint, not the bone. If you cut the bone, you won't be able to get through it. I cut the tips off, I'm gonna find that pivot point. This one's a little more tricky, and you just push a little harder and the tips come off. Now I have my wings ready to fry if that's what I wanna do with them. Or I can grill them just like that. Okay, now I'm left with the breast and the back, the rest of the carcass. I'm gonna take and hold it in my left hand with my thumb, just secure on the backbone, and I'm just gonna cut this skin right here and just let that fold all the way off. So I pull the skin and fold that down around and then pick it up with my hand on the back so it's out of the way. Now this line right here with the fat on it is the rib line. And I'm just gonna slice that rib line all the way to the keel, the tip of the keel bone, which the keel runs up across this way. I slice that just a little bit, and I'm staying right above the ribs, right here are the ribs. At the wing socket is where the tender starts, the chicken tender that's under the breast. I wanna take my thumb, push right there, and just peel that breast right off of the rib, like that. Now I'm gonna take and put my knife right at that um, wing socket uh, at the, where the joint is, and I'm gonna cut. There's a wishbone comes up from this wing tip to the keel, back down to the other wing tip. I'm gonna come right up that uh, bone, that wishbone, and then right out, you can see again, weight of the bird in my favor, it's hanging away from me, and I can slice where I see across the keel some light, and there's my boneless, skinless breast. Okay, bone and skin express go in there. And what we're left with is our tender, which is a beautiful piece of meat hidden underneath there. Now I'm gonna flip the bird over and do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna just slice above that fat line. Take my thumb, pull that off of the ribs. Now you can see the light again. Here's where the tip of the wishbone is, the tip of the keel bone. You want to come right across the wishbone, come across all the way to the tip of the breast, on the skinless breast. Okay, last thing is we take the tenders out. Now, the tenders are a little bit tricky because there's a section, you can't quite see it until you see it through the light, uh, where the keel bone actually comes all the way almost to the surface, but there's a space in between the keel bone and the wishbone that the wishbone's not attached to. And so we actually have to cut that, and we do that by making an X across here, and that releases the tenders, and then we can just fillet them right off with our hand. So take the bird, I'm holding it again, with my thumb inside, so I have good control, and I'm gonna take the tip of my knife, I'm gonna cross through that little gap, and I'm gonna go to the right side and do the same thing, cross through the gap, now I have my tenders, and I can just pull them off, just like this, and lay those down. On a split breast, which is what we have in the store, um, we basically are going to remove the breast with the ribs, 
and the tender still intact from the carcass. And so we do that by take our knife and you that fat line that comes along the edge of the, the ribs, we actually cut through this loose piece of skin. I turn the knife around and I cut all the way up to the wing tip or just that wing socket. Now it's open just like that. Same thing here. Cut down through that loose piece of skin and then cut up through the ribs to the wing. Now what I have is I can tear this apart. If I put my thumb on the neck of the chicken, I then break that wishbone and the sockets at the wings. Now I'm just gonna slice the skin to leave that there. Now, with the bone, bone in, skin on, I want skin equally distributed. So you can see there's rows of feathers on the breasts that these are, this bird has developed. And I wanna center that up and then lay it flat on my cutting board. And I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna score a little cut right there in the center of the wishbone and then score with the tip right out to the keel of the breast. Now I'm just gonna push down through, and you can use a, a cleaver for this. If you put the cleaver in, then you can just pop it with your hand, and that'll help to split that breast apart. With this, I'm just gonna keep cutting. I'm through the breast now, and I'm just gonna cut the skin. And so, now, if you get it right, which is sometimes the case, you'll actually see the marrow of that keel bone on both sides. So I split that breast right down the center for this demonstration, thankfully. Back, this, I mean, you can put this right into your roasting pan, which is sometimes what we do, where I'll put it in a roasting pan with all these other backs, roast them off for an hour, hour and a half, maybe two, salt, pepper, put a couple onions scattered in the dish, let them get nice and brown, and then put them into a stock pot, cover them with water, and let them cook, bring them to a boil, and then uh, simmer then overnight, or at least 12 hours, um, until you can make some amazing broth. So, what do we have from this bird? We have two tenders, two boneless, skinless breasts, two wings, and two leg quarters. All right, we'll come back in a minute. Okay, I leave the skin on because I want to use this, I'm gonna grill this. And when, the rule of thumb with any chicken parts is when you grill, grill skin up, meat down. So as soon as that gets hot on the grill, that'll sear that shut and it'll stay nice and juicy. And the skin will keep the juices from evaporating out of this chicken. Um, now again, when I'm grilling this, this goes down on the grill just like this, lets that the rib protect the rib here and the keel bone protect the breast and, and seal that moisture in and the skin protects it from evaporating out and it will be delicious. Actually three because I cut the breasts off of two different ones uh, differently because I wanted to show for demonstration purposes. Um, about five and a half pounds. If you came into our store and bought um, a whole chicken five and a half pounds, it's four dollars a pound retail. That would cost you twenty-two dollars, right? If you took that a chicken fresh from us in the package of one hundred and five dollars for five, um, you pay twenty-one dollars a bird for those. And then you can part them up and you then can get your backs, which you can make stock from, which will get you at least the value of one of our chicken stock pack, uh, packs, which is $8.50. Then you can take the leg quarters, which we charge um, $5 a pound for, the wings, which are uh, $6.25 a pound, the split breasts, which are $6.50 a pound, boneless, skinless breasts are $9.50, and the tenders are $10.50. When we, when we added up the weights of each of these components, 
and put one bird, the equivalent of this bird, which costs $22 retail in our store, each of the components, one of those chickens, same weight, ended up being right around $28. So what you're saving is $6 by parting them yourself. If you buy a whole package, that's five birds times six, you get $30 of savings plus the dollar less than you would have paid for that. So you're actually $35 savings if you do this all yourself. And then you can choose how you want it to be, how you want it to part it and piece it, and um, you get to know it and know exactly where your food comes from, which is what the end goal is for us here. Uh, giving people, building their relationship with the food they eat, with the people that raise it, um, with the community that they live in. So hopefully this helps. Uh, if you want to see it again, just hit replay.